Hello, son of God. This is your way and me. We are in this map of the world that is outside your mind, the time dimension, the world of illusions that never happened and actually is already over. And uh, um, this video is gonna be a teaching that is gonna save you so much time, so much pain, so much suffering. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna help you to really. Uh, flow to really not, to not make any detours to to not uh, follow thoughts of death to 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 really go straight to the eternal straight to the money of gold and of course we are talking about temptation in this video <laughs> I'm gonna say the forms of temptation there 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 are a lot of temptations okay. Of course, temptation is anything that uh, holds you down here in the prison, in the illusion. Okay, anything that holds you to this world is a temptation. So, what is temptation? Pride, arrogance, uh, humility as the ego sees it. As the ego sees it. Humility, the, the ego sees humility as uh, self-debasement. Okay, that, that's temptation. Pain is temptation. The bodies are huge temptation. Huge, huge. I'm not a body. I'm free. That's the answer to every, to every temptation. I'm not a body. I'm free because I'm still as God created me. So th there's temptation about healing. Hidden temptations there. Fear of healing. Another temptation. The attraction of death. Oh my god. Oh my god. This world. This world. Because every son of God is sleeping within uh, the human body, within the human prison, due to the ego manipulation, because it believes in the BS of the ego. Every. Every. Uh, every. Every human, because you are not human, you are as God created you, God did not create bodies. Every, every human at this moment believes so hard on death. Oh my God, it's such a strong belief. It's such, the, the manipulation is out of this world. For example, no pain, no gain. When you see that through the light, that means uh, uh, I believe in death so hard. My belief in but because you value pain, pain is hell, pain is your death. Why do you value it? This is, this is insanity. This is insanity, but you need to sign in the light because the error is in your mind. The mind needs healing, not the body. You have content the body to die with the mind. The sickness is in the mind and the main cause of sickness is the separation. That's that's the sickness. When you return to the mind of God, when you return to the oneness, you cannot experience sickness anymore. There is only healing. The body ascends. The body is actually getting resurrected as time develops. It's the metamorphosis. Eventually, our body, for everyone that is gonna make it uh, to to the end of time and the end of death through this uh, world our final body is gonna be the Holy Spirit okay so until we get there you're gonna get there with your mind first you're gonna escape all limits with your mind first and then you're, ma you're gonna manifest this mind down here but temptations are, are gonna uh, make so many detours so many you're gonna follow so many thoughts of death, but they're just mistakes, okay? We, we, they're just mistakes, never happened. All your guilt, all your sin, everything that happened down here in this world, all those thoughts, the good and the bad thoughts, they don't exist, they're illusions, you don't need them. They are all temptations. You see, there is so much to get your bad out of here. All the dimensions are illusions. You can't get out of here without the help of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the voice for God. 
he remembers your holiness. He can, he can reinterpret the ghost so you can get out of here, out of this slaughterhouse, out of this slaughterhouse. Competition is temptation. It's, it is temptation. You, you attack each other into the competition. You attack yourself every time you attack the other. You defend against each other. You defend against God. You create more attackers with its defense. The ego defends and attacks. It's not you, it's temptation, it's your creation of death. You have to see your brother into the present moment. Forgiveness. Forgiveness is the key. Forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. To forgiveness. You look directly into the light of uh, that, I that is trapped within the other human body. You focus on the light and you forgive all the illusions. You look at your brother, you know, as, as you do it on dog, on dog it, it is easier. Because the dog doesn't have ego. <laughs> the dog doesn't have ego, but still is the son of God, a very limited part of the son of God that is trapped in that flesh. It's prison. It, it awaits for you to wake up, wake up, wake up. Remember, you already know why you are a son of God. You already know the question inside you. Oh my God, that's crazy temptation. And all the spiritual awakening in this world is, is really, literally uh, based on that. The question, what am I? The question, who am I? First, first is coming the question, who am I? Then it becomes, what am I? Both of these questions are from the ego. It's something outside yourself that questions. You already know what you are. It's the knower in you. You know what you are. You know you are son of God. But you keep listening to the dream of the ego. What am I? Who am I? The ego has some rules. There are some truth about the ego. First, it doesn't know anything. It's an illusion. It has a maxim, seek and do not find. It wants to kill you in time. It can exist only in time, and your whole purpose is to transcend the ego. Overcoming this world is the same, it, it is not difficult than overcoming the gap. It is no more difficult than, than overcoming the gap that you have with the Prime Creator. It's all about, the, this is a journey of awakening. Time seems to go forward, it really, it really ends. It really ends, and it, it, we are here to end it. We are here to edit how? Through miracles, through the Holy Spirit, healing of the Holy Spirit, ending time, ending death with the Holy Spirit, the greatness is coming from the mindness of God. And we, the sons of God, we just let it into this world. We give miracles to heal this, to heal this slaughterhouse down here, this madness, this insanity. Another temptation, uh, the loss of chaos of this reality of this illusion, excuse me. <laughs> For example, this, this um, ego teaches that the truth is different for everyone. Oh my God, that's crazy temptation. You, can, you don't know how much energy you waste in defending your death, in defending that illusion. Another, another temptation is that if you do a mistake, that actually never happened because this world never happened. You can be forgiven. You are condemned forever. You know. So uh, we really have to understand all this because there are tons of traps. But when I say when I say them with you, when I say them with you, you're gonna you're gonna be prepared to protect your minds so you can avoid all this. All, all this uh, self-destruction, all this creation of death. Say, I'm the light of the whole. Forgive the temptation. Forgiveness is gonna give you a new perception behind that. It's the key to your salvation. You set your weights behind. It's a new perception. But you have to forgive the illusion first so you can see behind. In other words, you have to detach from the illusion. And salvation, salvation is already done. You just have the, you just have to have the willingness to look there, and uh, the path is ready. Your function is ready. You just run it. You just walk it through. God has already done everything that needs to be done, and uh, uh, you always choose 
between truth and illusion. Okay, that's why you always choose be truth between truth and illusion. And it's time um, you are in an experience that something is trying to to hold you down here. Anything you experience with the five senses actually is trying to hold you down here. The next time you are in that experience, remind yourself that I'm choosing between misperception and salvation. I'm choosing between the joy of God and pain of ego. I'm choosing between life and death. I'm choosing between the peace of God and depression, anxiety, anger. I'm choosing, I'm choosing between joy and chaos. It's it's so simple, and the the, the choice is really is getting supported by the power of heaven and and, and of everyone that makes heaven. So you do so little, and you you literally getting transported there when you, you when you raise your eyes out of the slavery and the borders of this world. You are the holy son of God himself, but you have to remember this. You have to remember this. And you have to protect yourselves from temptation. You have to protect yourself from temptation. Self, capital. Because we are all one, that's the truth. <laughs> and the female bodies, male bodies, it's irrelevant. There is no gender in oneness. All this is the illusion that I have to escape. Okay, so this is just a video about Woo. your awakening and for, for some mental protection, some uh, 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 thoughts that if you apply them to your day to day life, if you move around like that and you connect to the to to the dimension of being, to the two meditation inside you, to yourself in other words, not to your ego, to yourself, and start attaining that vision that uh, you actually see with your mind. And that's where you actually see because this do image making that you, you're just watching illusions outside of your mind with this. Okay. Uh, you're gonna save yourself a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, because you create them. You, you actually make them because you make illusions. You don't have any power of creation down here. Here you just make illusions. Creation is happy, is is only love and the self extension of loving thoughts. Okay, and you're gonna discover all this as you as you remember more and more um, what you are, son of God, in this illusion. You are spirit. You are holy son of God. You are as God created you. You are thought of God, you are love, love, oneness, self-encompassing, self-extending, extend, extension of union, always extending outwards, that's what you are, you are infinite. So, that's it for this transmission, say everywhere that we teach the end of time and the end of death, and I always, my judgment is always of protection, I always say what I would like to learn, so my, my learning becomes fast, without blockages, and we can so we can speed up the awakening of the Son of God and finish uh, with His world, which of course means ending time and death, healing with the Holy Spirit, which of course uh, it's the last judgment, no condemnation, no condemnation. It's just that the truth, the truth is true, and the false is false and never happened. That's all. And uh, yeah, peace. Say it everywhere. Say it everywhere. Say it everywhere.